You know, we have a lot of expressions in the English language. I don't even know what I'm saying. What are we talking about? Where did that come from? Most all of us use them every day. I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means. You know, we just say them as if they really made as sense. If they really made sense. I mean, how silly is that? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? What the f is he talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 2's Goat Phrase Bracket. Yo, 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 you know what it is and you know who it is. It's the me, Mario. I'm here with 20. Welcome to a phrase, the phrase, or the everyday expression. We got the Season 2 Goat Phrase Championship Tournament Series going on. And the first thing I did, the first thing I did before <laughs> we got into anything this week, 20, I spent a Never. lot of time getting my mic right bro i'm super confident <laughs> and my mic not moving you see, you see bro. the cup is already see. on the left like the wiring is different oh you got no faith you know what it is it's because you mentioned it <laughs> that is gonna fail you because <laughs> you mentioned it it's gonna fail you but you know what because i just mentioned it then Right there, it might fail me. So we'll see. We'll see how the show goes on. You know what I'm saying? Osmosis, dog. We'll see how the show goes. That's osmosis. Mm-hmm. Oh, bro? Oh, I'm good, man. So, uh, you know what? Honestly, I I just feel like it's a situation where, you know, we we got into the second round, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm excited to see what's going on. You know what I mean? Like doing. Now I'm at the point of the show where. I can honestly say I'm excited to see what's happening next. We got the excitement out of 20. Now, if y'all be watching the show, which I'm I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you watch the show, 20's excitement face is also his face. So it's all, And it's also my smiling face, too, as well. <laughs> He's, I'm smiling right now. I am smiling. You know that. It's, it is a filter. No, it, it works well, bro. It works well. So I appreciate it. No, I am not I am not a I'm not um against it at all. Like I bring enough. I bring enough, I think. I think. Yeah, no, man. No, it's 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 really getting excited, bro. Like honestly, it's like a situation where we we got this tournament, you know what I mean? Like and and it's getting better and better every day every day. Uh so I just really want to see, you know, the next phase, you know. I really want to see what where it takes us. Ooh, because we just bringing up with the idea. We just coming up with the idea, and uh, once we execute it, it's like it takes its form itself, you know. It does. So I'm trying to see, you know, what next is gonna do. Yeah, that's like it's like mutant and like being a mutant or some some type of thing. But perfect segue, bro, for that because the next phase, as we're in round two, thank you for announcing that twenty. We're in round two now. Got through round one. Thank you to everybody that voted and got us through that first right. round. That um. Uh, the 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 softer part of the bracket, I would say. Now we're getting into more of the heavy hitters. Thank you all. And what we want to do with round two, we want to bring some guests on, some moderators. You heard me and 20, we talked through this. Now we want to bring some some more outside noise as these phrases start to get a little more head-to-head. -head. Might, we might need a little more refereeing. So I want to bring on somebody that's, I've been connected to for a long time. 20's connected to by proxy. Arm you days, Bobby Mo days. Let me call out Turbo. We got a lot of nicknames out here. Turbo, my man, old Arm you teammate, father. You know what I'm saying? Working, working stiff. Can I call you a stiff? Yeah, sure, man. My I man. <laughs> and a competitor, <laughs> he said. He's a competitor. He does a lot of running, man. He does long distance running, things that I admire. <clears throat> like a lot, a lot of dope. Like it, it, it's a cause behind it, um, and I'll let him explain it when when he has the floor. But man, speaking of competition, we had to have you on for this competition. How you feeling, bro? Appreciate it, man. I enjoy the invite. I uh, really, really do appreciate it. Feeling good. Had a great weekend with the family. Kids kept me busy, as always. Um, so yeah, excited to be here, man. It's great to see this take off. I remember in the early days of Twitter. You know, Mario was definitely. Uh, definitely understood the concept, I think, more than most of us understood that <laughs> type of engagement, uh, you know, how to use hashtags and all that. And that seems like a different life ago now, you know, to where the social media world's at. So yeah. this is great to see this take off. My God, appreciate it, man. Well, without further ado, do let's jump right into it, man. So before we 
officially moving to round two. Let's wrap up round one's matchup winner. It was matchup number uh, six, and that was number 16 going to hell in a handbasket against number 17. Uh, Jesus, I forgot what it was already. Oh, no, no pain, no gain. And I was a big advocate of no pain, no gain. Uh, 20, you were, you were, I wouldn't say big advocate, but you were an advocate of no pain, no gain, correct? No, I, over, over hell in the handbasket, I was a big advocate. There we go, there we go. Yeah, when it comes to the matchup, right? Well, we are, we consider ourselves the experts, but we do not control the voting, man. And if y'all thought it was rigged up until this point, aha, you're wrong because with 67% of the votes, I'm not even gonna hit the drum roll. Sixty-seven percent of the votes going to hell in the handbasket. One dog, going to hell in the handbasket. Nah, one. for real. Yes, it moves on, bro. Going to hell in the handbasket moves on to round two. Over no pain, no gain. Over no pain. I'm not gonna show no emotions because they, you know, we shouldn't show emotions. <laughs> we shouldn't show emotions because we we're host of the show. We shouldn't show emotions. So you know what? Huh. 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 Interesting. Hmm. No, you know what? You know what I think was a push was a push this time, because a lot of the times in Turbo, feel free to jump in. I'll, actually, I'll ask you your thoughts in one second. The 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 whole the guests sometimes a lot of times the guests take the phrase of the show that they were on and internalize it. Now, some of the guests bring the phrase, so yeah, I get it. And others, they just you know what I'm saying. We make it form fit. It's interesting. Well, Mel, she went on a, a little campaign. She owned that phrase and went on the campaign. <laughs> no, nah, she had the, she hit the streets, brother. She hit the streets, man. She hit the streets, bro. And uh, it worked out. So Mel got pulled. Shout out to Mel Dion. She's dope as hell. You will see her back. I love her. Turbo, what's your thoughts on um, going to hell in the handbasket over no pain, no gain with 67% of the votes? Yeah, yeah. I feel like both phrases have been kind of, it's been applied in my life. I've heard them, you know, my, my dad used to say, go to hell in a handbasket. That was like his phrase. So when I saw that post that I kind of chuckled because something my dad commonly said, and I always took that as a young kid, my dad had a bit of a wild mouth. And, uh, but that was the one thing that always, you know, kind of stuck out to me is like, okay, well, sounds like everything is going South real fast. And it's just on a, you know, one way track, you know, to, you know, to whatever hell is for that, yeah, that person, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then kind of no pain, no gain, right? It's I feel like that's something that we've heard in athletics a lot. It's mm-hmm. all, you know, in order to get those adaptions, to get stronger, you have to kind of achieve some kind of pain through what, you know, kind of workout or a loss or something. So I think both phrases uh def- you know, I've you know personally who did been you, who, who did you want to win? Honestly, I feel <laughs> Going to hell in a handbasket, I feel like you could say that to anybody. It's kind of probably a universal phrase. Like, they'll get what you're saying. Like, it's probably nothing good. Like, you know what I mean? It's one of those phrases that going to hell in a handbasket, they're like, all right, I don't know what the context is there, but that man or woman's going through something. <laughs> I guess, see, <laughs> you know, see, like... see, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> Where I'm at. We going to move. We going to move, 20. Because <laughs> I think hell, bro. I think hell be getting people, bro. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Honestly, I think, I think hell be like people is. be like, oh, not hell, <laughs> and they be like, because 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 no pain no gain is actually like a virtue. It's virtuous. All right, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. We're on. We're on around two. We're on around two. Congratulations. Are you saying that only heathens voted for hell in the heaven? Is that what you're saying? If you had no I'm virtue, saying, I, I, maybe I should have asked that off the air. <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, don't connect that dot. Look, man, let's set up. Round two's matchup. Thank you all again. Thank you all to everybody that voted, man. Going to hell in that basket. You deserve your flowers. Here we go. All right. As you could see for my YouTube viewers, for my podcast listeners, I got you. Don't worry. What you just heard was number 10. Our first round two matchup. First matchup of round two. Number 10. Look, we in the top 10 with it. Again, we got number 10. The pen is mightier than the sword. Versus number seven. Drawing a blank. Now, I, I hit 20 up. I tell 20, like, oh, man, because I'm a nerd. Word nerd with it. I'm like, oh, man, it's kind of like two 
drawing two things with drawings and the writings and the tangent. I thought it was kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? So, what you think of this matchup so far, Turbo? Real quick, real quick. What you think of this matchup? You uh, repeat those two again. Number it ten. The pen is mightier than the sword. And number seven, drawing a blank. The pen is mightier than the sword. That is that is powerful because I feel like you know the words that we write down those those can those can last forever, mm -hmm. uh, spe you know, especially in today's world with mm -hmm. the way that you know stuff is stored online and the way that all that's encoded and, and kept. So there, there's definitely something powerful about about that. Um, and drawing a blank, you're just, you're just you're drawing a blank. You don't really have an answer for it. You don't you don't know what to follow up with. You've kind of lost position. Um, Stool on that, stool on that. Don't give me, don't give me, don't give me stool on that a little bit. Think about yeah. that matchup, man. What we gonna do while you think, and we'll update you. Don't worry, we'll update you on this round. Like so let's. One. We got uh, B plus for the pen is mighty the sword. It came in at an overall B plus. We had my guy, one of my mentors, Juan Mobili, um, Ecuadorian poet, Argentinian poet. Ooh, I think they had uh, Argentinian poet. Yeah, I'm about to say what? I don't. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just have to go get a charger. My my phone no battery's but No pressure. Um, a a <laughs> Argentinian poet, which why he was on pins, my and sword. And the meaning of that is writing is more effective than military power or violence. Okay, so that came in at a B plus. Let's review real quick why and how we got to a B plus. When the majority of the time people are saying it, it's a sense of saying, hey, look, you don't always have to fight because sometimes that doesn't get you everything that you need. Sometimes you got to be a little bit smarter. Sometimes you got to have those words to say to get what you want. So I think I, I definitely give it a, a more of an A minus if I said that to right a minus. the first time. I give it more of an A minus. I'm going to step that because I feel like, yes, it does have its own sense of power, but once you start to layer it, once you start to dig deeper, then it becomes even more powerful. So that's why I didn't give it an A+. plus. Yeah. So it was, woo, so 20 was rocking with it. He was, he, I, I, I played that back like two or three times when I, I reviewed it because like 20 went, 20 went on, it was a, he, he, he went in on the, on the power grade. Um, and it was he it was almost hit a plus, but he had to, he pulled it back, he pulled it back. So appreciate you, 20. Let's um let's get into the speed grade. I came in with the speed grade with Juan. Um, and let's see what I had to say about that once it loads up. All right, there we go. Speed grade, let's get it. It does though possess the right amount of flow to circumvent all that syllable work, all that mouth work I have to do this to say it, um, it actually are the right set of words to to get it out. So the pen is mightier, mightier than the sword. I think that ear too is getting me, but it's it's still, I would say, um, edible. It's an edible phrase. So I'll give that, because of that, I'll give it a B minus, B minus because, you know, a, a, a child wouldn't say it. So they're not going to keep it alive. A child wouldn't say it. And there are phrases that a young person without any other context can say and keep alive. So there it was. And because 20 popped us off so well that um, I want to be a little bit more thoughtful about my speed grade. So I came in with a B minus. Now, let's see what Juan had to say about the pen is mightier than the sword. I would give it a B plus. You know, as a poet, you know, I am almost obsessed about take and prune every word that is not absolutely essential. And I think that you couldn't say what that means without that number of words. So from that point of view, I think that could it be shorter? Yeah, but could it say the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man Juan came in. And him and 20 was actually, that was, it was, it was, for me, I was just sitting back as a host. They was getting into it. So be sure to go catch that episode, man. Um, really good episode. Pen is Myron and Sora. Juan was on there. 20 with the recap. Where'd that bring you right now? Pen is Myron and Sora, B plus. No, you know what? Honestly, it's a, it's I'm I'm 
obviously still in the same spot, man. You know, like once we um, dissected it and uh, we praised the phrase, it, it it became a little bit more powerful to me because it was like the first one that we appraised and was like a situation that it had everything to do with the same. You mm. know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. you can interpret it, you can interpret that saying differently, but when it came all down to it when it comes to the definition mm-hmm. and the origin and how we use and everything like that, I feel like it's still it's one of those ones that's still aligned to what it's saying today. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it, like the, the the definition hasn't switched up on you because of the test of time. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Which is interesting why it's 10. You know what I'm saying? It was me is why it's 10. But cause Oh, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've learned that through all these checkbacks that Mario's grading uh, system this year was just really, it seemed personal. It, it seemed personal yo, with all of I think I did. I think I did come into season two up in the personal part of it. Hey Turbo, where you at with it, man? With the um, with the recap of uh, how we got to a B plus for uh, Pinch Meyer and Azor. I really like what uh, what Chris just kind of referenced with like the the passing of time. Twenty on air, uh, my brother. Twenty on twenty. <laughs> got you, got you, my man. Um, no, but what but what twenty referenced with like the especially like as time passes, that phrase is not going to lose its. It's power. And I think that no matter, you know, if it's written down, um, whether, you know, elect, you know, electronically now or going back to thousands of years ago, scriptures, we, you know, we still cite there's something powerful in those words. I mean, that's what drives music is just the context of these lyrics. And so that's kind of all I mean, and you got to think it probably all starts with someone penning some kind of words and emotions down on the paper. So, uh, Definitely solid phrase. I I would definitely have to go with that over. Um, oh, draw a blank. Oh, oh, he gave it. He gave it. We gonna see. We gonna see if he's still there. We'll see if you still there, Turbo. It don't matter because you okay. still got to vote. But that's fair. About it. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, man. If that's gonna carry, I wonder if that's gonna carry. Like it is strong, and and from digital, like like y'all said, like it, it. There's nothing you can do with it. You can try your hardest. There's nothing you can do with it to flip it. That's interesting. I like that. I like that. Y'all hope y'all listeners hearing that when it comes to voting time. Pins my and sword. All right, here we go. Let's see. Drawing a blank. 20, you have the power grade for that one, too. Let's see what you was talking about. So I'm going to give it an A in power mm-hmm. only because I feel like, like I said, when it comes to if you say it, someone might say it to you. And even if they say it to you or you say it to yourself, it still means the same thing because it's been a lot of meaning. It's yeah. been all kind of the, the meaning of it changes. In the, in, the, in the energy of it changes as opposed to somebody saying it to you or you send it to yourself. And I think this is probably one of the ones that it doesn't change regardless of if you're saying it to yourself or somebody saying it to you. I like that. So what is it, an A you said? And I think that's powerful too as well. So I give it an A, yes, sir. Man, another good quality insight, man. Sometimes I'm just like, why am I even here? I'm here to just press the buttons and cue up things because that was quality insight right there, dog. I don't think... You know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's hard to get past the fact that, and I didn't think about that, that like drawing a blank, we talk about it a lot, like, well, what it mean when you say it to me versus when I say it to you type of thing. All right, with right. speed, I came in with the speed again. Let's see what I was talking about. It's very smooth, although there's a lot of syllables. Like, I think the blank being one syllable at the end, if I'm really analyzing it, like makes me feel good. It like feels like it just ends it very well. They're cool little words. They're not really like offensive words that I like feel yucky to say. So I'm actually going to give this a B plus drawing a blank B plus. <laughs> I, I wonder what I will give an A, bro, because I Yo, listen, all you've positive given, things right there. <laughs> you've given you given longer phrases A's than drawing before. <laughs> you've given longer phrases a. a. <laughs> Like you give it, kill him with kindness, which is way longer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, because it's it's a flow off the tongue, not just purely length. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Turbo, turbo. Where are you? Uh, what, B was was that B plus? Was that was what? Do you th- <laughs> I need. No, nah, that's funny, man. You think that's B plus funny, was Mario. solid for speed? <sighs> he just froze up. Oh, you think B plus was solid for speed, man? 
Did you, you give it a B plus or was I it did, a B? I did. I gave it a B plus. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Man. What was that? You froze up. Was that? Oh, drawing a blank. Drawing a blank. Yeah. B plus. Yeah. I mean, it flows off the tongue. Is it something that I feel like is uh, could definitely be said by all ages too? Like you're talking about phrases, you know, yeah. being applied to. You know, like the like the one previous phrase we were just talking about. That's definitely something you're going to find more in an adult conversation. You know, uh, you're probably not going to hear many kind of reference. You know, references with that with younger kids. Uh, but drawing a blank, I, I feel like that's that's pretty universal too. Yeah, and uh, many exactly. people can say. I get it a B plus, man. I did all right. Let's see what Kalen. Kalen was with us on that one. My bad. We ended with an A minus. I didn't cue this up very well. Kalen, uh, fit instructor, actor, master trainer out in San Diego. Um, one of the homies used to do uh, sports training back in the day, uh, so she's doing a great job out in San Diego. Let's see what she had to say overall for drawing a blank. I am going to fall right in the middle and give it an A- minus for, for a number of reasons. I, I think it is, it's, it's such a universal phrase. Mm -hmm. um, the, well, who is it, Roland? Roland bringing... Um, making the connection that he did or, or changing it up um, is what kind of turned my, turned my head to it a little bit versus Queen Elizabeth's definition was, eh, you know, uh, that's where the minus comes from. But um, <laughs> I think overall, like, I just think it's a really great phrase. It's universal. Um, I appreciate the connection between the lotto and, and falling short or, or not reaching or finding whatever you're looking for. Um, so yeah, a minus. A minus. So this is how we got A minus all around. Um, B plus A, A minus, guys, the A minus, and that's number seven. So you know what's coming down the pipeline for the rest of the rounds. All right, man, 20 overall, where you at with drawing a blank? Again. You know, um, hmm. it, 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 it just didn't, it, knowing it was all good until we found out the origin. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the origin kind of took it down a notch, but hey, that's just me. You know I, what agree, I mean, like I figuring it out. So, it's like so. So it you, made are sense. you saying? Are you saying like a minus as it stands now? Like looking back, a minus is out 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 the way. Oh, when it comes to the when it comes to the power grade and and everything, like like when you appraise it, it still stay true to appraisal. It's just the fact of matter of you know me knowing and having the knowledge of what it means in, in the origin stuff and how I feel about it now. It's just like, uh, you know, cause I, <clears throat> you don't really, when it comes to the lotto, you don't really draw blanks no more. No, you, you just actually, don't like, how could you even? Yeah. You just don't, yeah. You, you don't, you don't pick the numbers, but the numbers that you pick sometimes aren't the wrong, aren't, aren't the right numbers. Yeah. Like, but they aren't blanks. They're not anymore. blanks. You know? Yeah. You're not getting a blank anymore. You just, you just honestly, you're just getting either it's the right number or the wrong number. Right. So it's like it didn't really last too long when it comes to just the origin, but the phrase took on its own, its own thing. That's real. There you go. That's real. All right, man. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take on our cases, brother. So Turbo, what I need you to do for us is we're gonna, I'm gonna make a case for each phrase. 20's gonna make Wait, a change for each phrase. I'm sorry, Mario. Did you hear that that noise in the that, background? That submarine? Yeah, I thought <laughs> that sonar. Negro, Negro, I thought you put on a, a sound to hurry me up. <laughs> that was on my side. That was on my side. Now, Can uh, you believe that if I introduced that that way? <laughs> that would be so perfect if you if I did. Oh, that was you terrible. I was like, yeah, that was this is <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, wait. I was wondering if you were going to hear that. Huh? Wait. Hear no, we all, definitely man. heard it. But I was like, did this guy just give me a sound? Well, he gave me a sound and I'm like, not the hurry up sound, my G. Like, <laughs> damn. These episodes right. aren't even long. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to say, this is a 20-something minute episode, bro. Like, damn. That's great. Okay. Talking about control. Talking about, I told look, look, it all, it's all, I always foreshadow because I was like, why am I here? Why am I here 20 with the insight? I got, yeah. <laughs> I had to pull some of that power back. <laughs> I was like, damn. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and that's why I like it. <laughs> like, damn, damn, I can't even get it out. <laughs> and 
putting in black and screen out. No, exactly. <laughs> no, it's all good. So Turbo, we go hit these. We gonna make our case, man. We gonna hit this make your case segment. And after me and Twenty, I'll I'll do mine. Twenty will do his, and then you'll you'll tell us what you heard, man. And see if it was if you heard any uh any influencing anything that would make you want to uh to move in the direction we was talking about. So we'll do that for each phrase. So twenty, do you you gonna go first, bro? For the pen is mighty than the sword. Please don't please don't drop the mic on the first. Make your case because I know you rock with this phrase. Oh no 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 no! I, I'm a, I'm a listen. What's up? I I learn every show, so it's like I can't give it all every show, but I can't. I'm gonna <laughs> save it all for when. When Myra come on, I'm gonna Myra. say all my <laughs> Myra come on. My dog. All right, here we go. You ready? All right. So when it comes to a pen is mighty than the sword, just like before, I rock with it. I mean, it's a strong, strong statement. Not only has it stood the, the test of time, but it stayed true to itself throughout the test of time. You know what I mean? When when people are saying the pen is mighty than the sword, they're saying that you can get more done with it. Pen than a sword. When people say this pen is mightier than a sword. You remember, you remember what happens when you do with the pen a little bit more than you have than you remember what happens with the sword. Because the pen can kind of interpret what actually happened with the sword if he wasn't there. So like just like with history, you know what I mean? You don't really know genuinely or truly what really happened in history other than what people has told us. So even when it comes to wars, you don't really know how those wars kind of turned out if you weren't there, as opposed to you reading about them and somebody writing down, hey, this is what happened. And that's really became gospel. That really became true. So that's how I say like the pen is mighty and then the sword. I like it. I like it. Okay. Okay. Here I go. I'm up next, Turbo. And then you're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. 20's right. And I don't say that a lot, even though I love it. 20's right. The pen is mighty in the sword. This is where the thing where this, this show matters to me the most. He's saying that it stood the test of time. Now, we've said that before, but this one, this one, if there's a list of standing the test of time, this one actually does that because if there was a rating for standing the test of time, the pen is mighty in the sword. As, as a knowing, like know that in your, in your, in your all, in your being, like, if you write it down, if you if you if you document it, you are that's how a legend is born. The, the act, the act is important, but documenting the act is gonna take you farther, dog. And the power of documenting the act is bigger or more powerful most times than the power of a physical act. Document that thing, write it down. You know what I'm saying? A poem, a, a story, history, a Bible, man. Yeah, the pen is mighty and the sword might be hard to beat. Yeah, Mario, you don't like to get uh, clicked off of that, huh? I see that last part. You got us. You said that last part. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> that time was getting low. That's how I felt when it was <laughs> Turbo, what you heard from us, man? A couple takeaways, man. Was we off base? Where you at with it? That phrase, the pen is mighty than the sword, it, it actually has some more relevant context. Actually, I, I saw a video with, with the late, great Mac Miller yesterday, and mm -hmm. he was actually in the studio, and he was reading. I think he wrote out the lyrics to Gnarls Barkley Crazy, and he was just in, in the studio. Just You could see him reading his own lyrics that he wrote down, and mm -hmm. like you could hear the emotion and kind of the pain in his voice. And I feel like that just those those words written down like that's forever going to be there. And however we interpret it, however we continue to really use those words and really communicate in time, those those words that were written down uh, will will stand the test of, of, of time, even though we might you know receive it differently. Uh, however, though, that it it really originated um, at one point in time through through the pen. So, yeah, that's a. That's a very strong phrase and one that I think will definitely live on. Man. All right, here we go. Uh, shout out Mac Miller, man. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Yeah, yeah, And reading lyrics, I don't know how y'all feel about this, but reading lyrics versus hearing lyrics does do something to me in a difference. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 20, here we go. Drawing a blank. Let's get it. 
All right, we're drawing a blank. I feel like it's more powerful. The meaning of it is more, a little more, a little more brolic now than it was back in the day. You know, drawing a blank was more of a negative thing. I feel like now it's more of a, uh, it has more of a lighter tone to it. You know what I mean? Like when you draw in a blank, it's a situation of, I don't want to say fun, but it's not a negative thing. You know what I mean? Nobody uh, puts you down when you draw a blank. I feel like they look at it like, man, you know what? Just what, what are you trying to, you know, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to do? Or how can I help you answer the question? You know what I mean? So it's like more of a situation where when you draw in a blank now, it's not as negative as not knowing the answer. And sometimes people just say, oh yeah, I drew the blank, I'm drawing a blank, but they don't really have the answer. They just saying it as because it answer. seems <laughs> like, yeah. They, they seem like, yeah, I don't want you to think I'm stupid dog, but I, cause I know, I know it. I just don't know it at this time. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> I'll know it as soon as you tell me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There it is, that was it. Yeah, I was yeah you got there, it. You know? Yeah, it's one of those things, man. Yeah, man. Hey, here we go. Okay, uh, drawing a blank is lighter. It's more fun. Uh, and as Tony said, the origin had consequences to where now, because of how light it is, yeah, the consequences are kind of removed. It's kind of like a, like, a <laughs> like a Homer Simpson type thing, bro. Like, you can draw a blank and move on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the origin where you lost you lost a thing <laughs> you did not win no so it's lighter and i might take it far man drawing a blank might, might might make people feel a little bit better man it might be a little more universal and it's more um accessible like we all have drawn a blank before we all have got to that point where like damn i don't know i thought i knew but i don't know or that's what he just said I don't know, but the whole class looking at me, so I'ma just tap my, my pen to my head until the teacher bail me. <laughs> until somebody comes. Somebody help me out. Like as long as I put this energy out here that I'm trying to know, then you might win. Yeah. Put, put burn a log on that chin, man, thinking about it. So yeah, drawing a blank. I don't know where I actually stopped, but I'm I'm torn. I'm a little bit torn, man. I'm a little bit torn. I'm a little bit torn. So Turbo, 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 drawing a blank. How you feeling about it? It is a, it, it's a very common phrase. Um, the amount of times I've probably said I'm drawing a blank, especially when put on the spot, especially going back to my days as a math student, I, I, I drew blanks constantly. Um, yeah, but it is kind of like a scapegoat phrase. It's like, if you don't know the answer, you can kind of fall back on, oh, I'm drawing a blank. In all reality, like you said, you really don't know the answer, but it's kind of like that. <laughs> Kind of like that soft medium. It's that like, net, oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna smile and say, I'm, I'm, just, I'm drawing a blank. I don't know. <laughs> uh, exactly. No, no good and well, Turbo. They don't know. They don't no, good know. and well. They don't know the answer, but they they gonna sit there and arm it to death. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. What's uh, up? Uh, <laughs> what's up? I read it I once. I'm drawing a blank, man. Yeah, right I now, I'm drawing somewhere. a blank. <laughs> the thing and about then it, they man. look around. You look around like anybody. Nah, man, yeah, I'm drawing the, a blank. the energy you put out. The more, the more, the more love you get for draw uh, for actually drawing a blank or faking drawing a blank is the energy you put out. Like if you can kind of put that good energy, like come on, I'm drawing a blank. Come on, then people are gonna be I like, I got you. I got I know. I know. I know you know. I'm gonna answer, but I know you know, and you get to move on. Bullets, sweat it, <laughs> <laughs> bro. The worst, the worst is the people that give you the time to figure it out. <laughs> that's when you that's when you fucked up. That's when you know you fucked up when you're like, man, I'm what's uh no don't worry you go you go think of it. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Time. Take your time. You can think of it because you, you know it. Go ahead. And you're like man just tell me the goddamn that's answer. <laughs> hey man that's that's low key. Hey I might try that like no go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I have time. I have time. I'm not doing anything today. I'm not <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Until you answer it. When you think of it, let me know. <laughs> Word. All right. Again. Here we go, man. Before we make our picks, Turbo, who who do you think? Well, which 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 case was made? Which which case for each either phrase was made? You don't have to make a pick, but like where you at right now? You don't have to be official, but where you at right now? 
over one over the two. Or for drawing a blank, right? No, for both. Drawing a blank versus Penis Myron and Sewell. Where you leaning, man? Hmm. I I have to go with the pens mightier than the sword. I I think there's something about that phrase it just hits home in, in a lot of different ways. It can be applied to different things you've read um, on all different topics. I that's just uh that that'll definitely continue to stay in the test of time, in my opinion. Hmm. Fair enough. All right, Tony, make an official pick, big dog. Where you at? Oh, I'm uh I think uh. Pins mighty in the sort. I, that's the that's the one I'm gonna go with. It's I feel like that's a when it it has that little edge when it comes over uh, when it comes to popularity. I feel like that's a little bit more popular than drawing a blank because mm-hmm. of you know the wide the wide uh, variety of people that use it. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. uh, it's like I said. Even though drawing a blank is light. You know, you know how people don't like to admit that they don't know anything. Yeah. yeah. You get what I mean? And I feel like that's that's a big part of, you know, people don't want to admit that they don't know or they that they need to do the research or that they need to acquire the information. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I just feel like when it comes to that, you know, it, it's, it's just it's just a little bit more powerful than uh, drawing a blank. Got you. Got you. All right, man. Uh, my official pick. I'm still. I'm still very torn, bro, because the lightness of drawing a blank, the the universal nature, the the wide the wide net that it has. I could see it being like a great phrase. When we talk about goat phrases and like, man, I, I I rock with this. It does what it needs to do. It actually, what we're saying is like, it protects you. It's a safety net, a harmless, almost a harmless safety net, dog. And that's kind of that's kind of fucking cool, right? But I guess as I'm talking it through, the type of person I am, I can't raise nobody. I can't teach nobody. I can't connect nobody off drawing a, with nobody off drawing a blank. Where I can connect with the pen is mightier than the sword in a lot of different ways. I can raise my son and say, hey, man, the pen is mightier than the sword. I can look at my boy and say, hey, dog. <laughs> hey, dog. You got to look back. Let's look back. The history of that, man. We And we, then we can look around in society. So I guess I would have to say when we talk about a phrase that does more than make us feel good, but it also impacts impacts the world, it has a true impact on society, the pen is mine and sword. Shit's all over. So I'm going to go with pen is mine and sword. All right, man. We appreciate you, Turbo, for coming on. Make sure you get your vote on. Make sure you tell all your friends and family to vote. Keep this thing rocking. You know where you can find us, appraisethephrase.com. As soon as this episode drops, go vote. Hopefully, we inf- influence you one way or another. Uh, you can find us on IG at the Appraise the Phrase Show, on Twitter at the ATP Show, on YouTube for the visuals. 20. 20. Yeah, that's that's a form, brother. Yeah. I'm- I'm still, I'm still, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm still tripping how Mel put them boots to the ground and got that thing. <laughs> got that thing moving. Got that thing moving. Well, guess what? Guess what? Uh, my dog, my dog, you mentioned my Ryan. You spoke him up. He gonna actually be in the city um, prior to next episode's recording. So I'm gonna have to drag him on because the next matchup, ooh, this one, I'm gonna have a lot to say, dog. Number nine, blessing in disguise versus number eight, hindsight is 2020. I don't know oh. how you gonna get a word in, dub. I don't know how you gonna get a word in because if Myron on there and I'm on there, hey. I might have to be the I might have to be just the guy that presses for the sound effects. Yeah, you might <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be my job next week. Just pressing the sound effects. Man. Press the board, man. We appreciate y'all. Like I said, appraisethephrase.com. Go vote. And remember, even during tournament time, that value is in the eye of the appraiser. We will check y'all next week. Yeah, I like.